Let us explore a classic puzzle in statistical physics, the Brownian ratchet paradox. This thought experiment was first proposed by Richard Feynman and others to explore whether it is possible to build a tiny engine that extracts useful work from random thermal motion. At first glance, the idea seems plausible, but it raises a major problem. It appears to violate the second law of thermodynamics. Here is how the Brownian ratchet is imagined. Imagine a small paddle wheel immersed in a liquid, constantly bombarded by molecules in random thermal motion. The paddle wheel is connected to a ratchet mechanism that allows it to rotate in only one direction, like the gear in a clock. You might ask, wouldn't the random collisions push the paddle wheel forward more often than backward and thus generate usable energy? If so, it would mean we could convert random thermal energy into directed mechanical work without any additional energy input, essentially creating a perpetual motion machine. At first glance, it sounds like we could harness thermal fluctuations to do useful work, but this is exactly where the paradox arises. The second law of thermodynamics states that it is impossible to extract net work from a system in thermal equilibrium. Energy naturally spreads out, and random fluctuations cannot be turned into ordered motion without expending energy elsewhere. So why doesn't the Brownian ratchet work? The key insight is that the ratchet itself is also subject to the same random thermal fluctuations as the paddle. When the ratchet is small enough, thermal motion can just as easily move it backward as forward. At thermal equilibrium, the system moves just as often in the wrong direction as the right one, and the net motion averages to zero. To make the ratchet work, you would need a temperature difference between the paddle and the ratchet. But once you introduce a temperature gradient, you are no longer violating the second law. You are simply using a normal heat engine that operates between two reservoirs at different temperatures. This paradox is important because it highlights the limits of microscopic machines. In the world of nanotechnology and molecular motors, thermal noise is everywhere, and it is tempting to think that we could exploit it for free energy. But the Brownian ratchet shows that you cannot cheat thermodynamics, even at the molecular scale. Any device that extracts usable work must consume energy or operate between two systems at different temperatures. Why does this matter today? Because scientists are designing real molecular machines and nanomotors inspired by biology. These systems often use clever strategies to bias random motion into directed motion, but they always require energy input, such as chemical fuel or light. Living cells, for example, are full of protein motors that move cargo along molecular tracks but they do so by consuming energy in the form of ATP. The Brownian ratchet paradox is more than just a thought experiment. It is a reminder that even at the smallest scales, the laws of thermodynamics still rule. While we can design molecular devices that appear to exploit randomness, they must always obey the fundamental principle that you cannot get something for nothing. The Brownian ratchet is a thought experiment proposed by physicist Richard Feynman to test the limits of thermodynamics at the microscopic scale. It imagines a device with a ratchet and pawl mechanism connected to veins immersed in a fluid. Random thermal motion or Brownian motion would supposedly push the veins, turning the ratchet and generating work. At first glance, this appears to convert random thermal energy into usable energy without an energy input. Such a process would violate the second law of thermodynamics. Imagine tiny paddles in water pushed by random molecular collisions, seemingly generating rotation indefinitely. It is like hoping gusts of wind from all directions will somehow consistently spin a windmill in one direction. It At microscopic scales, molecules in a fluid constantly collide with particles, causing them to move randomly a phenomenon known as Brownian motion. These collisions are unbiased, meaning the motion averages to zero over time. If a ratchet mechanism could rectify these random movements, it might appear to create directed motion. This idea raises the question of whether one could extract useful work from thermal noise alone. However, thermal motion is inherently balanced by fluctuations in all directions. Pollen grains under a microscope exhibit jittery, random motion due to molecular impacts in water, 
It is like watching dust swirl unpredictably in a sunbeam without settling in a single direction. The second law of thermodynamics states that entropy, disorder, in an isolated system cannot decrease spontaneously. Extracting useful energy from random thermal fluctuations would imply reducing entropy without input, which is forbidden. If the ratchet and Paul device worked, as imagined, it would be a perpetual motion machine of the second kind. This contradiction is what makes the Brownian ratchet a paradox. Understanding why it fails clarifies the limits of energy extraction. If the ratchet harvested molecular motion, it would seemingly run forever without added energy. Impossible under known physics. It is like trying to scoop water uphill using only the chaotic splashing of waves. The key oversight in the thought experiment is that the ratchet itself is also subject to thermal fluctuations. At the same temperature as the veins, the pole randomly lifts and drops, allowing the ratchet to slip backward as often as it moves forward. This negates any net gain in energy. For the device to function as intended, one side must be kept at a lower temperature, essentially converting it into a heat engine. Without a temperature gradient, the ratchet cannot extract usable work. In Feynman's analysis, when both the pawl and veins are at the same temperature, the device fails to produce directed motion. It is like trying to row a boat in a pond where water currents push equally in all directions. You end up going nowhere. The Brownian ratchet is conceptually related to Maxwell's demon, another famous paradox in thermodynamics. Both scenarios suggest that microscopic control could seemingly extract energy or reduce entropy. The solution in both cases is that acquiring and processing information or maintaining temperature differences requires energy. This cost restores compliance with the second law. Thus, any attempt to build a Brownian ratchet in reality would need an external energy source. Maxwell's demon would selectively allow faster molecules through a barrier, creating a temperature difference without work. But the measurement costs energy. It is like trying to win a card game by peaking, only to find that the effort of peaking cancels your advantage. The paradox teaches that any microscopic machine must account for thermal fluctuations in all of its components. Biological nanomachines, like ATP synthase, succeed by coupling thermal motion to chemical potential differences, not by rectifying noise alone. Synthetic nanomotors follow the same rule. They require chemical, electrical, or light-driven energy inputs. Designing viable nanoscale engines requires carefully controlling energy gradients. This ensures compliance with thermodynamic principles. ATP synthase uses proton gradients to drive rotation and energy production, not random molecular collisions. It is like powering a water wheel with a flowing river, not by hoping raindrops hit the paddles in the right direction. Modern micro and nanofabrication techniques allow experimental tests of Brownian ratchet-like systems. These devices show that thermal noise can be biased only when energy is supplied, for example through periodic forcing or asymmetric potentials. Such systems form the basis of flashing ratchet models in non-equilibrium thermodynamics. They are useful for understanding how molecular motors work in biology. These experiments confirm that random fluctuations alone cannot generate work. Experiments using optical traps have demonstrated biased motion of particles, but only when external energy periodically changes the potential landscape. It is like directing a crowd by opening and closing doors at specific intervals, not by hoping they all choose one path spontaneously. The Brownian ratchet paradox underscores the absolute nature of the second law of thermodynamics. Energy cannot be extracted from equilibrium thermal fluctuations without external input or a temperature gradient. This principle guides energy harvesting technologies and nanoscale engineering. It also reinforces the importance of non-equilibrium conditions in driving life and machines. Understanding these limits is crucial for avoiding misconceptions about free energy devices. Thermoelectric generators succeed because they exploit a heat gradient not because they harvest random thermal noise. It is like needing wind to turn a windmill. The air's random gusts are not enough unless there is a consistent direction. 
The paradox illustrates that intuitive ideas about randomness and order often break down at small scales. It highlights how physics at the molecular level is constrained by universal laws, even when fluctuations seem exploitable. The Brownie ratchet deepens our understanding of entropy, irreversibility, and the energy costs of information. It also inspires the design of more sophisticated nano devices that respect thermodynamic boundaries. Ultimately, it shows why perpetual motion remains impossible. Every attempt to design perpetual motion machines eventually fails because hidden energy costs restore balance. It is like trying to cheat gravity. Even if you find a loophole, the universe finds a way to close it.